She was so happy hitting all of her milestones. She was starting to respond to things that we would say. <laughs> she was walking at 10 months, saying hi, bye, all those things, which is super cute <laughs> and healthy, very healthy. There was a time in the beginning where um, I first noticed things were changing. We had a carpet with some pattern on it and she couldn't look away. Her eyes were tearing. You could see her breathing and you couldn't help her come out of it. He's off. He's mama. Someone mentioned seizures. And the minute that she said that, I knew. I just knew in my gut. I will never forget the first time I met Hazel and her mother. She brought me a cell phone video, and when I looked at the video, it was very clear that they were epileptic seizures. I remember just being stunned. I needed to hear it multiple times before it set in. She started her medication, and then it seemed like her seizures kind of went away, and we thought, well, we can do this. Then about two and a half weeks later, it started happening again. As her seizures increased over time, they also became more serious. The weekend after Thanksgiving, she had um, her the first of her weekly grand mal seizures. She just went from like a vibrant, beautiful kid to just blank and lifeless. She was losing the high, the by, the waving. It was gone. We tried eight medications and the ketogenic diet, and there was still no control. One of us needed to be watching her every second that she was awake. Our older children were fantastic, but it was a lot for them too, and you know, that was hard. Halfway through the journey, Dr. Wiley said surgery might be the way we may be going. We ultimately performed three separate MRIs so that everybody on the team could be comfortable moving forward. We knew that a lot of people were involved and one of the most reassuring things about surgery is when they said that they were taking it to the epilepsy board. The decision was unanimous that we should offer surgery to the family. And after meeting Dr. Bingaman, we consented to surgery then because we were ready. They hear all those things. Hey, I'm gonna take out the temporal lobe, the occipital lobes, your child could die during surgery. And say, so, yeah, okay because it's such a terrible disease. It was just, this is what needs to happen next, because we also knew we were running against the clock. The last seizure she ever had was in my arms right before they took her back. We were literally giving her to them, saying, please help us now. Like, we've tried everything. So um, it was their turn. It's a four to five hour surgery. I mean, you take that abnormal tissue out and it feels a little different. The malformed brain's a little firmer than the normal brain. You get that piece out and now two lobes of her brain are out. There's still a big space there, fills in with brain fluid. I was scared for her. What would that be like waking up? But she came out of surgery just as strong physically as she went in. Two days after the surgery, she was laying with Al in the bed and read her a book cover to cover. And I mean, that had happened never. never. It was a feeling like nothing else. It's been a long road. Good job. Her surgery was February 20th, 2014, and she continues to overcome and outgrow. The last seizure she ever had was before she went to the operating room. There have not been any seizures since then. I feel like her personality has come back to what mm -hmm. we started losing when she was 11 months old. One, two, three, two. She's talking. Um, we'll never get tired of her saying, hi, mommy, hi, daddy. Daddy. <laughs> we just feel so lucky. We felt like we had a team, like a full support system, whether we were at the clinic or whether we were calling someone on the phone. Dr. Wiley would say, we're not done. We're gonna keep doing this until we can help her. That's, that's like everything. 
The amount of suffering being born by this family inspired all of us to do everything we could, no matter what, to try to help. And the fact that we had the tools and the teams in place to be able to help Hazel, that's everything. That's why we do what we do. That's why all of us here do it. I think I'd want Dr. Wiley and Dr. Bingaman and the whole staff to know, like, there have been thousands of amazing days since the surgery that they've made possible, and we are just so grateful. <laughs>